<laughs> Gosh, Pocket Ronnie made me enjoy eating triangles. <laughs> so welcome back. Okay, we're doing lesson eight today, and this is on graphing lines when they give you the equation. All right, so we're going to be given the equation. So the general equation of a line is y equals m x plus b. I'm writing sideways, so I apologize if it's not straight. You can see that this general equation is set up similar to this. Y equals a number times x plus or minus a number. So the same is true here. So this m represents the slope, and slope is rise over run. Rise over run. Your rise is your x's and your runs are your y's. Your B represents your y-intercept. That is where your line crosses the y-axis. And when it crosses the y-axis, your x-coordinate is zero. So B is the y-intercept where it crosses the y-axis. So we're looking at the number before x and then the number out here. So let's go over here to our equation. It's in the same format. So this number here represents your slope. This is M. This number here represents your y-intercept. This is B. Y-intercept is where you cross the y-axis. It is always recommended to graph your y-intercept first. So with this equation, y equals 2x minus 1, my b is negative 1. So here in your blank b, you can put negative 1, okay, because this number represents b. b is your y-intercept where you cross the y-axis. So this line is going to cross the y-axis at negative 1. So you go to the origin then go down one because y's are up and down so it crosses the y-intercept at negative one so that's right there at negative one my x-coordinate is zero wherever you cross the y-axis your x-coordinate is zero and then your y-coordinate is negative one so now we have a point it only takes two points to be able to draw a line so I need a second point so then you we go to the slope our slope is two so our slope is two but remember, you can make any number into a fraction by putting it over 1. So you put your slope as 2, but if you want off to the side, you put 2 over 1 because 2 divided by 1 is 2. Now our slope is in rise over run format. Rise over run. Our rise is 2, our run is 1. Rise is our y values, run is our x values. So now we can graph um, our second point. You go back to the y-intercept and then you do your rise over your run. So you go back to this point of your y-intercept. We just said that our slope here was 2, 2 over 1. So you go here to this y-intercept and then you rise 2. So from this point count up 2 because that was a positive 2 over a positive 1. So from this point count up 2, 1, 2. Now our run was a positive 1. Positive means you go to the right. So over to the right one, and that's where my second point goes. So now I've got two points, so now I can draw a line. So you graph your y-intercept first, then you count your slope. Okay, let's look at a, another one. Now we're going to look at 8B number 2. All right, we have the graph uh, or the equation of y equals negative 3 halves x plus 0, okay? So that's negative 3 over 2. And then I put the plus 0. You won't see it at first because there's nothing there. So, but what I want you to see is you can write, just to help you, plus 0. You can write that yourself because it helps you to see that there's the y-intercept is 0. When there's nothing out here, your y-intercept is zero. You don't have to write plus zero, I'm just showing you so you can see it visually. So here, you can say that your y-intercept is zero. That means you cross the y-axis at zero. And remember, when you're on the y-axis, your x-coordinate is also zero. So when you're crossing the y-axis at zero, that's at the origin right there. So when you don't have anything out here, we don't have plus or minus anything, that's zero. That's you're crossing the y-axis at the origin. So there's my first point. 
So my first point comes from the y-intercept. My second point comes from counting the slope. So this number right here, negative 3 over 2, represents your slope. So here for your slope, which is m, you can write negative 3 over 2. So remember slope is rise over run. I usually count my rise first. So starting at your y-intercept right here, from our value, our rise is negative 3. Negative means you go in the down direction. So starting at my y-intercept, I count down 3. 1, 2, 3. My run is a positive 2. Positive is in the right direction. So I count over to the right. 1, 2. And that's where my second point gets drawn. And now I've got two points to be able to make my line. So this is the line for the equation of y equals negative 3 halves x. Alright, now let's go to 8b number 6, going back to here. So just to reiterate from those last few problems, so um, you plot your y-intercept first, then you count your slope from your y-intercept point, and then you should be able to draw your line. Alright, here we have a special equation, y equals 4. You notice that there's no x. There's no y-intercept in this equation. So I'm going to draw the line first, then we'll talk about what the slope and the y-intercept is. All right. So the, the best way that I can tell you to graph this is it says y equals 4. So I want you to think about everywhere on this line your y-value is 4. So remember, y-values are up and down. This is a positive 4, so it means go up. So go to the origin. Everywhere on this line, your y value is 4. So go up 4 because y is up and down. 1, 2, 3, 4. Everywhere on this line, y is 4. Meaning, if I go over somewhere in the negative direction, my y value is still up 4. If I'm somewhere in the positive area of x, my y value is still 4. So do you see if I draw this line, I have a horizontal line. Everywhere on this line, my y value, my y coordinate is 4. My x coordinate changes. Here, my x coordinate is 0. Here, my x coordinate is negative 3. Here, my x coordinate is positive 3. But my y coordinate everywhere on this line is 4. Everywhere on this line, y is 4. So I went up 4 everywhere on this line. All right, now let's talk about what our slope and our y intercept is. Okay. Horizontal lines, we talk about horizontal lines of having slope because if I stand here on my ground, I have zero slope. There is no slope when you're on a horizontal line. You're on level ground, there's no slope. So the slope of this would be zero. There's no slope. Zero slope. And then you can see I crossed the y-axis at a positive four. I went up one, two, three, four. I crossed the y-axis at positive four. So you can see my y-intercept would be 4. Okay, now we're going to look at a something similar. Okay, we're on page 8A, number 6. So we have the equation of x equals negative 3. So I'm going to draw the line first, then I'm going to talk about your slope and your y-intercept. So this is just the opposite of oh, the last one we did. So now we everywhere on your line, your x value is negative 3. So go over in your x direction, negative 3. So if I start at the origin and I go over negative 3 in the x direction, x's are right and left. Well, I'm going negative, so I want to go to the left. So starting at the origin, I'm going to go negative 3 in the x direction. That's 1, 2, 3. Right there would be negative 3. Everywhere on this line, my x value is going to be negative 3. So if I go up somewhere in the positive y direction, I go over negative 3. If I look at somewhere down in the negative y direction, I go over negative 3. So you can see my y values will change, but my x values everywhere on this line, my x value is negative 3. My, everywhere on this line, the x coordinate is negative 3. So when you have x equals some number, you will end up with a vertical line. Now, on vertical lines, we don't talk about vertical lines of having any kind of slope. So if you can see, my man does not stand on this line. Okay? 
This is like a wall. We don't talk about walls of having slope. We only talk about ground lines of having slope. Okay? Walls do not have any kind of slope at all. Do not talk about walls of having slope. So your slope here is undefined. And I'm just going to put UND period for undefined. Okay? So you don't talk about walls, a vertical line of having a slope, so it's undefined. And then you look at this line. Does this line ever cross the y-axis? No, because it is parallel to the y-axis. So it will never cross the y-axis. So your y-intercept is also undefined. So when you have a vertical line, your slope will be undefined and your y-intercept will also be undefined. Okay, now we're going to look at problem 8D. So, or not problem, but page 8D. I just want you to focus on the graph because I can read the problems to you. So we're on page 8D. So 8D. And we're going to be looking at problems 7 through 9 on 8D. Okay, so problem 7 okay, um, says estimate the slope and intercept of line M on the graph. So here's line M. We need to estimate the slope. Okay, so in order to find the slope, we need, we need to know the rise and the run of the slope. So my suggestion is see if we can go find two points. This is like what we did in lesson seven. If there, we can do two points, we can draw a right triangle and count the rise and the run. So you can see that my line crosses right here at these crosshairs. Okay, so I'm gonna make a point right there. And then you can see my line crosses exactly at a crosshair right there. So I'm gonna make a point there. So I just need to make two points on my line to where they cross at exactly a, a spot on the graph that I can know the exact coordinates, okay? So from these two points, I can draw me a right triangle. And then from there, I can count my slope. Okay, so now that we have our right triangle drawn, we can count our rise and our run. So remember, start at one point and then travel to the other point. So I'm going to start here, so that I have to go down one, two. If I go down two, that means that's a negative two. That means my rise is a negative two. And then I'm traveling, now I'm traveling in the right direction. I'm going to the right. I went down and then I'm going to the right. Going to the right is positive, one, two. So that means my run is a positive two. So therefore, my slope is rise over run, and that would be negative two over two. And so negative two divided by negative two, two divided by two is one. A negative divided by a positive is a negative. So you can see that my slope is negative one. Okay, so the answer for number seven of what is the slope of the graph? The slope of the graph is negative one. And you can tell that this line is going downhill. The man would be skiing down the hill, so it should be negative. And then number seven also asks, what is the intercept in line M? So where does this line cross the y-axis? It crosses at the origin, therefore our y-intercept is zero. Okay, these are the two answers for number seven. Now looking at number eight, it says, what would the equation of the line be using the slope-intercept formula? Well, in our slope-intercept formula, the general equation is y equals mx plus b. So now we just take our slope number and our y-intercept number and put them in for m and for b. So our slope is 1, so we say y equals negative 1x and then plus 0 because b is 0. You don't have to write the 1 and you don't have to write the 0. So you could just say y equals negative x. That is the same thing as y equals negative 1x plus 0. Then that's the for number 8. And then number 9 says the line is graphed within which quadrants? Well, remember quadrant 1 is here, and then you count your quadrants going uh, counterclockwise. So 1 is here where everything is positive. x is positive, y is positive. Everything, all your coordinates are positives in, in quadrant 1. And then quadrant 2 here quadrant three here, and then quadrant four here. So you can see that this line is graphed in quadrant two and quadrant four. So that's what you would put for number nine, that it's graphed in quadrant two and four.